In today's video, I visited a card shop in Knoxville, Tennessee with some of the rarest cards you will ever see in Yu-Gi-Oh! All right, I'm at Play to Win Games in Knoxville-ish area. Is this Knoxville? I don't know where I am. Yeah, this is we're in Knoxville. Okay, we're in Knoxville, Tennessee. How are you guys doing? Doing good. All right. You want to introduce yourselves? Yeah, I am Mark Spears. I'm one of the owners here. Josiah Miller, other owner. All right, I'm going to be checking out some of the rare stuff they have here, which apparently is a lot of stuff, so get excited. It's coming up next. Just start off with this, this UDE Sulevori Galcos. You know, no big deal. We've got all kinds of other rare stuff coming up with Josiah right here. About to show us off some starter deck Joey, first edition. First sealed tabs intact. Yeah, uh, th these are these are popular. People like these. People like all the original starter decks. Good stuff. We got the SKE starter deck Kaiba first edition evolution. This is this one is just. I feel like they kind of did Kaiba dirty with the Kaiser Seahorse versus the Black Luster Soldier, but overall pretty good. Got the. Pegasus first edition. We got the Yugi first edition. We got them all. all they got tabs intact. All six. All wow. Down. All six of the starter decks. Classic. Blue eyes, white dragon. All the really minty looking ones. So they're still like twenty bucks, right? Still twenty dollars. No, no, not quite. Not, not quite. quite. A little bit more than that. Okay. Get that. Less cool. Less cool. Okay. Whatever that means. Let's find out. Oh no. <laughs> First edition blue eyes, so not cool. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. We have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below. What do you think about some of the cards in this video? And let's get back to it. First edition, Legend of Blue Eyes. It looks like it's in order, starting with 00, zero Trihorn Dragon. Got first edition Dark Magician. I mean, the classic stuff. Is it? Uh, is there a condition? Is it all, or is it just kind of random? I think there's like one card that's mod play. I think a Pot of Greed. Um, okay, yeah, so uh, yeah, just just wondering if you guys decided to go condition like light play near minute or whatever you want. Uh, nothing yeah. like that. Like, yeah, I pick most of it's gonna be VLP because it's first edition, right? VLP stuff, so it's always going to be, yeah, yeah, it's tough, yeah. Not looking for 10 candidates, don't care enough, it's gonna be. In a Ooh, there we go. Forever. Yeah, like if you're gonna put it in a binder, it's hard to put a tin candidate in there anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah we can. Other... Oh yeah, we're we're getting to some big stuff after <laughs> this too. This is this is the wimpy stuff right here. Only first edition LOB. The Exodia set's pretty awesome. Like it, it just bothers me that when you have to put it in order, it's like it's wait, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Exodia's like the head's down awesome. here and his feet are up here. It's kind of crazy, but there's the trial of hells. You have an unlimited one of those? Oh, I both unlimited. Do, That's nice. <laughs> They're both. I, it was like glaring right where it was. This video is sponsored by Factor. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian-approved meals delivered right to your doorstep. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of Factor. I'm always working from home because I'm making videos, I'm opening cards, I'm posting stuff on my website, I'm buying collections and going through them. All that different stuff happens at home. So I either have to leave and go buy something, fast food or whatever, or I have to go to the grocery store, prepare it, everything. But with Factor, it comes right to the doorstep, open it up, and I just cook it in two minutes, it's ready to go. And because I'm traveling to YCS Raleigh tomorrow, I have so much to do today, and eating Factor in two minutes basically saved me about an hour of time that I would've had to go get something at fast food or cook something here. All I did was make my way to my kitchen, pull the meal out of the refrigerator, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and bam, it was ready to go. I chose the chicken Alfredo pasta and wow, it was amazing. Like for a two minute meal that's just been sitting in your refrigerator, I was really impressed. And Factor also has a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, or Vegan and Veggie. Also discover more than 60 add-ons every week like breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day long. So what are you waiting for? If you guys wanna save time every day making meals or preparing meals, Factors for you. Use my link to get 50% off your Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Come on, come on. We got to show some of this stuff. Some TP. More. You know, do you have a Genzo jar? I don't have a Genzo jar. I okay. Just have the, uh, I have the full set. Yeah, you'll get there. You'll get there. <laughs> if I wanted it, not already. I don't know. I don't have one either. <laughs> I don't care that much, but it is a cool thing. Now. Like if it, if I stumbled onto one, I would probably take it. I don't know if I'm gonna like go out of my way, but that's kind of how I. Feel yeah, it. it's like. I really cool. Yeah, ultis, no big deal. Yeah, this is gonna be good stuff. <laughs> I'm getting really some. I'm actually gonna get more than one video this weekend. That's that's <laughs> the goal, and this is definitely gonna help. That harpy feather duster is super nice. I never got one of those. We have an Italian one. 
I was always, always like, I'll get one, and I'm like, man, that's expensive. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they don't come up that often, actually. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I had a ton of these ready to go, thankfully. So did we. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you had a lot more than I did. I had about 14 of them. So we probably had like 30-ish. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah. I, I, was, I was thought you were going to say you had like 300 of them or something. Nah, no, no. Don't yeah. put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. You had to wait a while for that too. Yeah, we don't we don't sell band cards at all. Yeah. But you know, it's like we'd rather just sit on them. Yeah, because they become you know basically nothing for the most part. Ooh, Judgment Dragons. I got a few of those. I've played a lot of Lights One over the years. Yeah. I'm very excited about the stuff coming out next week. That is enough to get me to build a standard deck. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it's pretty big. You got the old Light Destruction reprint over in the EU. A lot of crazy stuff coming. Oh, okay. is that only EU? It is on the EU. We get the Structure Deck Realm of Light. Oh, not, not as cool. <laughs> this unlimited print. So, oh, yeah, cool. not I, not I as exciting. It's going to get burned. I mean, all my stuff burns anyway. Like, yeah. Stuff like that's still fine for for other players. Like, I'm, I'm not against reprints. So, the cool thing about that is the name imprint is actually down here. <laughs> yeah, so they missed and they didn't really put the name on there. Yeah, I, I feel like I've seen one of those before. Maybe at some point, or maybe maybe on a video. Who knows? Yeah. Somewhere else. I don't know. That's pretty awesome. The crush card is just classic. That is the peak, right? That's the one that you I mean. It's not even like the most expensive, but that yeah. is the one that you know. It's just the one. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like Cyberstein because it's the first one of the of these, and then that one. But that one's just because of the anime and everything. Gold Sark, pretty cool. Doom Cal, and then the one I have. The cheap one, Dark End Dragon. It's not, not as cheap as it used to yeah. be. I'm, it's not as cheap. I, I have a 9.5, quad 9.5, so I'm going to hang on to that thing. Yeah. And then, oh, this, this is unlimited because it's white border. Yes. I love how magic, it's so cool because, like, this condition is, like, terrible. Yeah, like, in theory. Game, but still 10 million, yeah, right? but it's still <laughs> crazy. Like, it, it, cause it doesn't matter because they'll still play it, like, in their, oh, that, their that old thing decks has and stuff. For some mana, for sure. Yeah, like, that thing has seen some wear, which makes it even cooler almost. Right. So there's the full, you got the full. SJC set with the Black Lotus right next to it, which is pretty awesome. Oh yeah, I have one of these. So these are participation, right? I believe so, yeah. They get uh, released in Japan the year after. Um, the the prize cards are like prismatic. Yeah, I, I got one of these and I could not figure out what it was. So I was like, it's expensive and it says, you know, it, it seems like a prize-ish kind of card, but it's... Yeah, I bought it while it was uh, in Japan a couple years ago. And they're cheap too. Like, I yeah. think I bought this one for like under 100 bucks or something right like that, yeah but. what is the story on this one again uh these were the petition uh the participation prizes for the earlier ones like the 2005 yeah event, and it was all three of these okay so it was the oh the <laughs> this one got a game promo too yeah that was a yeah. game promo but the super rare one from yeah. the wc is the same so, thing it's so these are the more rare ones they're still not terribly expensive There's yeah like 1400 of those and they're a lot more than they used to be, but like they're still not terribly expensive. Yeah, so. which you know, 400, 1400 is not that many when you think about it, especially yeah, when it's being that old. And I might have those numbers a little bit off. It's been a long time since I've looked yeah. into that kind of stuff. Okay, we're now we're getting stuff. serious. All right, so we got some more stuff in here. Oh yeah. We got a bunch of PSA tens. Oh yeah. And I got some not not as cool stuff stuffed in here. Mark really likes PSA 10 cards. <laughs> I think this thing is a top one. Which one? This? Yeah, this thing. Do you guys still have Card of Sanctity? We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Okay. All right. I'm just, I, I, sorry. Spoilers. We got we to build up. We got to build up. The we gotta build up. Okay. Okay. I just saw the comment and that made me think of it. Yeah. I mean. Overload's nice. Proof that we buy everything. There <laughs> are, I believe, four of these. We have three of them. Wow. I have given Mark a lot of about buying. <laughs> you gotta get one more you gotta have all of them yeah it's, i remember he called me he's like i just got this and I'll, i was like I, it's like i'll be able to sell it i was like no you won't and that guy's thinking oh my god he bought it <laughs> so hey marshmallow on man we've got some of the cooler stuff here we go we got psa 10 ubp set ubp nice uh there are two full sets of this wow uh, so that is one of them. One of the full sets of UBP. That's from the Ultimate Beginners Pack. Yes. Which, when did that come out? Honestly, I have no idea. I've seen the box a couple times. Yeah. But I was playing back then and I've never found it. Yeah, I feel like it had to have been some like random place because it's not very popular and most people don't know what it is. Because yeah, if it was like exactly. in North America, you feel like people would have known. Right. But I need to find one of those and look on the back and just see where it says. Yeah, it's a wild one. 
We got some other cool old. Oh, classics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, McDonald's. Not Mark, super rare, but just awesome. Yeah, Mark loves this kind of stuff. Like, this is the kind of stuff he collects. Yeah. I prefer the SJCs. That's what I grew yeah. up grinding for. <laughs> yeah. But. You know, yeah, it's a different vert. Like the PSA 10 hunt is a little bit different than this hunt, yeah, you know, because like exactly. this card is rarer, but then getting that specific grade is exactly. a little bit of a different grind. Exactly. It's a different grind to each their own. You know, we've got, and then if you try to get tens of this, that's just fun. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that one right there. Perfect. We've got the tune set, all PSA 10, more old cards. We've got the movie pack set. Oh yeah, the, the commons. Yeah. I tried to grade some of those. I got nines on my water pond. So what do you do with that? Right. <laughs> we got. He's got the shining dragon around here somewhere. We've got the magnet warrior set. Yeah. Can't have classic collection without it. Yeah. Gotta have the uh, game promos. We got those guys. Oh, those are nice. They just look cool. Yeah. This is the promo value book. I think this was actually yeah. the Japanese one. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a okay. different back or something. Yeah, it's an Asian. Asian yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. So found the shining yeah. dragon. There's the shining dragon. We've got some more random classics. Yeah, yeah. Got this S Y E. We saw the sealed one earlier. We've got the the game set. Yeah, the, these look really good. Like they the, really do. The secret on them looks great. Yeah, we've got a duelist ID for all the original duelists out there. Oh yeah. Let's move some of this stuff out. I find those whenever I buy collections. Sometimes they'll be in there. Over time, and yeah. they're, not, they're not like expensive or anything. Yeah, it's they're just like wow, that's like a blast from the past. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's cool, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then some of Mark's personal favorites. We've got. E Mock. I still need one of those. Oh, is this Turbo Pack? Yeah. yeah. Turbo Pack, too. The four Chaos Monsters. Some of the most busted cards on Yu Gi Oh, honestly. Yep, yep. That's them. I still need these two. We've got new Lorcana okay. stuff. Okay. Lorcana. This stuff's crazy, isn't it? We got that thing when it was $400. Good thing we did. Because okay, what is it now? 1500 It just came out. Yeah. It's crazy. Some other random prize cards. Yeah, no big deal. Just some. Yeah, just nothing nothing crazy. We got like a 9.5 Warjack in here. Yeah, whatever. No, nothing important. Yeah. Not. Yeah, we're, we're, we're building up to the big stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I know you, I think you already put it out. We have the UDE Seal of Ori Calcutta. Yeah, I prefaced it with that just to get everybody excited, you know. UDE, one of the strangest but rarest cards ever. Yeah. And uh, not just one. Make it a play set. <laughs> just in case you're trying to steal Yugi's soul. Yep. It'd gotta be perfect. Have the three. You gotta have all three of them. Yeah, there is no pictures of the back of this card. And, yeah. And there is yeah. a reason for that. Yeah. So <laughs> that is why we well, have them. I'm, well, I'm glad I didn't ruin anything then. I was just looking that. at it. I'm like, what does this look like? <laughs> I guess that's the, the mystery in it. We do that on purpose. Because, yeah. You know, that is a key thing. They're all played. These were used by the Duel the Masters a long right. time ago. I think there's 15 of them out there for Mark right. to have three is insane. But and Only then we got about 20%. Stuff. Yeah. And then here's the here's the one I might have spoiled earlier. Okay, so wasn't there one of these going up for auction recently? They did. He did a very yes. terrible job. We offered him far more in trade. We yeah. offered him so, 50k in trade and he turned us down. Okay, I thought I heard about that. <laughs> yes. Okay, I knew somebody offered him. I didn't know it was you guys. Was I remember watching some point somebody do a video with Mark about this yeah. well this card uh, and yeah, the, it was our friend Kenny. Yeah, and, and so I watched it and I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and then like, I've kind of followed that card since then. And then I saw one went up for sale. And so what happened with it? He just didn't get rid of it, it or what? It was a commission sale. Um, he was trying to do it for uh, one of his friends or yeah. some, some contact he had. The dude was a sports card trade. Oh, uh, so okay. He was actually actively selling it. Yeah. He put it up on golden auctions, which if you pay attention to this kind of stuff, that is not the auction site. You right, for this stuff. right. So he put it up on golden Nobody really paid attention to it. They weren't advertised at all, and it went for way too low. Yeah. I think the final price was like 12K or wow. something like that. Way, so, way, way, way too low. So like, yeah, that's like, <laughs> if you if you don't know about this card, that's a, a, an insane steal, which is wild because this is a common, yeah. but there's like, what they give away? Like a hundred of them originally? There's a hundred, there are seven or eight known. I think the one that got sold was the eight seven or eight left that we know of. There could, of course, be a couple more, but like the total start was like 100 to begin with. And it was for an essay contest in yeah. like 2003 or 2004 alongside the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series season one. Yeah. It, so, yeah, if you got this, I mean, you might not even, it's like, oh, it's a common, you know? It's like, yeah. 
probably got thrown away. They might have even done all 100. Who knows? And a lot of people think that this is the one that says draw, both players draw six. That's not the case. This is the exact wording as the Lost Millennium version. Yeah. It's, you know, it's still not playable. It's still completely terrible. But <laughs> it is a lot rarer. This is so cool. Like, I've never actually seen one or held one before. So very awesome. Let's get that back to where it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for showing it to me. That's Absolutely. awesome. And is that the, that's the finale, I assume. Yeah, that's all the cool stuff. Look, which, I mean, I'm not going to say like, <laughs> I sound like, wow, we didn't see anything. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, we have basic stuff, PP cards, CP cards. Like yeah, basic, that whatever. Stuff. That's the stuff I get into, you know. Yeah, but that, that stuff's cool, but like you yeah. see it everywhere. Yeah, but this, <laughs> I mean, this stuff, I haven't seen probably 60% of these in person, probably. So, and then when you get into the ultras, it just gets crazy on that kind of stuff. I had an Ultra Minerva. I bought Jake Finney's after he won Origins, and yeah. I sold it during COVID to open the store. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, hey, it worked out. I mean, it turned into a uh, and a good investment, I guess. Yeah. I mean, we've got some other cool stuff hanging around. I mean, if you want to take a look at some of the. Oh yeah, the giant cards. cards. Yeah, oh, we're definitely gonna take a look at these. <laughs> a lot of awesome stuff. Got okay. The uncut God Sheet up there. Oh yeah, uncut sheets. You can't forget about those. Oh, we have a little rock band. Yeah, we got a few of them. We got a we got a video game guy working in the back to prepare any of our consoles. We make sure everything works. We got tons of classic games. Classic games. Go. You got the games. You got the Rock Band. You got the dual discs. Most importantly, got some giant more giant JD. cards. The giant JD is going to be very playable very soon. When is somebody getting a full deck together? Forty card giant card deck. It would be very bad. It'd be very. <laughs> it'd be very tall as well. Diamond and Pearl, that's pretty cool. That's actually really old at this point. Oh, it's on Switch, so it's not as old, right? Okay, I was about to say. Diamond Colt, Diamond and Pearl's really old. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.